over here for the launch year manifesto. What are the main points in it? Well, the main points is in regards to moving on and creating stability within Mid Ulster, developing activities, particularly around the engineering sector, which will allow growth for the industry. Uh, planning issues for rural people to actually be able to build in their own areas, but also in the line of training for young people to ready for employment. Michelle, I know you've been out on the beat with them. How has he been received at the door? Oh, first class, brilliant response right across Mid Ulster. We've been on many doorsteps now, we've had many events, which have been um, really widely turned out. A lot of people have come along just to get involved in the campaign. We've a lot of new people wanting to get involved in the campaign. And I think it's very evident that people like the Sinn Féin Team Mid Ulster approach that we've taken. Very positive um, record of results that we can stand over over the last number of years and will continue into the future. And I think that's the strong message that we're getting on the doors of Mid Ulster. Jerry Adams, Francie's role as a new MP, hopefully shortly. What's that going to be? Well, first of all, to build on the work that Martin McGuinness has done for the last 15 years with the rest of the team, and uh, Francie's been a very essential part of that team. So all the issues that are of concern to people in Mid-Ulster, he will have to use his considerable ability to ventilate and to argue and to lobby and advocate uh, for those. But also in terms of our border campaign, we want to employ our MPs in Britain, across Britain, uh, to win support for our demand for a border poll. And you know, given France's history of activism and you know, steeped in all that has occurred, uh, standing firm for equality, uh, I would certainly hope that the progressive people in Mid Ulster will return him as our representative. Whether it's Mid Ulster or Meath East, the issues seem very similar. Is that what you're finding? Yeah, they're both rural uh, constituencies. Uh, obviously, the government's policy of austerity and how it's burdening uh, working people, lower and middle income families, and there's been a huge influx of people from Dublin into East Meath uh, buying up houses at grossly inflated uh, prices. Now, stuck there uh, sometimes with one or both. Uh, parties unemployed so you know we're making a stand here against the surrey in the north we're making a stand uh, right across the 26 counties and Darren O'Rourke was selected as our candidate and you know Sinn Féin fights twice as many elections I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing we we certainly in Mid Ulster the election hasn't been declared yet in East Meath but in Mid Ulster we're with a great team as Michelle has said, it's uh, Team Mid Ulster, and we'll have Team East Meath as well. Well, we're well into the, the campaign now. We're running the last week of it, uh, and the people have responded well on the ground. It's a matter now of actually getting people out on the 7th of March to ensure that we actually maximise the vote and return the seat. Uh, it is a, a big constituency, there are a lot of issues in it and the constituency service is one of the big issues that we find that people are dependent on and that serves all the community, not just uh, the Republican base but actually serves unions, nationals and like uh, and we intend to augment that, to continue to provide that and to ensure that the people of Mid-Ulster have a voice.